Our sixth fight of the evening brought to you by Five Star Industries. At Five Star Industries, we are committed to give our customers what they want when they want it. Happily providing metal containers, metal fabrication, and trash dumpsters, our company was built on providing the highest quality and the best personal service with the most innovative products available anywhere. Check them out at www.fivestarindustries.com. J.R. Gordon, take us to this sixth fight. Will Gravely representing Z's wearing the black and blue trunks, facing off against Nick Lancaster wearing the orange and blue trunks. Lancaster represents Factory X, a couple of Colorado's premier gyms in the cage right now, and why not? It's a title fight. Yeah, I'm seeing a very traditional type of Muay Thai stance from uh, Mr. Gravely, JR. Are you noticing the same thing early? Very much so. <laughs> Arms out, long, real long in front. Lancaster almost a little bit more of a boxer stance. Yep, yep. And I love the 185-pound division. I think it's the perfect blend of strength, speed, stamina, and athleticism. Couldn't have said it better. Power's in there as well, and these guys are absolutely built like trucks, both of them. Yeah, yeah. this is where you start seeing the guys that have the proverbial one-punch knockout power, but they've also got the, the stamina and the speed to make it a really interesting fight for the spectators. And throw on top of that the skill level of these two guys, and... We're in for a treat. Gravely giving Lancaster a nice smile after a beautiful jab from Lancaster lands. And these guys are starting to throw some hard shots here, JR. Gravely came over hard with the right hand. Lancaster saw it come and turned his chin out of the way. Nice defensive maneuver by the factory X fighter. I love those calf kicks right there that we just saw. Beautiful. Gravely landing a really nice set of mixing up his kick. Uh, arsenal as we speak right now, but also really nice pivoting footwork, right? Yeah, switching his stances occasionally too is gravely every once in a while. Yeah. And he's doing that off of the pivot, so makes Lancaster have to reset what he's doing. I like what I'm seeing out of Gravely in terms of head movement too. A lot of times the bigger guys get in there and get complacent. They rely on their knockout power as you referenced, but I, I, I like what I'm seeing out of Gravely with moving his head and changing levels and keeping things uh, very unpredictable in there for, for uh, Nick Lancaster. Lancaster seems to be the one that's pressuring forward more. Gravely doing a good job with his footwork. He referenced the pivots. He's circling the cage nicely. Neither one of these guys letting their back be pressed against the cage. But so far as far as cage control goes, I'd have to say Lancaster, the one that's moving forward. Yeah, no question about it. Oh, hard oh, counter oh, shot. Man. And Lancaster's hands just keep getting lower and lower. That left hand of Nick Lancaster is kind of dropping a little bit, J.R. I'm, I'm wondering if uh, if Gravely is seeing the same things that we're seeing. Yeah, and if, if he's not, his coaches will, yeah. and they'll talk to him about it between rounds. There's a 10-second clacker, so round one, bit of a feeling out round. These guys have seen how the other reacts to their techniques, and uh, I expect a little more exchanges coming up in the second. Second round just about underway here, J.R. Gordon. 
Very, very evenly matched up battle here at the 185 pound division. Nick Lancaster and Will Gravely here. SCL 53, second round underway. Let's do it. First time Sparta Combat League's come into the Denver Coliseum. Crowd getting treated to some great seats tonight. Absolutely. Cool laser show going on, big screens all around. Much fun for everybody, except for whoever's on the receiving end of one of these punches. Oh, those My shots. Goodness. <laughs> Man, these guys are some bulls in there. Gravely continues with the circular footwork. See if Lancaster was admonished by his coaches to keep those hands up a little higher. Woo. Great defense by both these guys because there's probably seven punches thrown in that combination from the two of them and only one of them landed. You so know, you yeah. talked about it earlier, the head movement yeah. of these guys. Yeah, really exactly. nice. Yeah, you know, the other thing, too, is I really love what I'm seeing. When they're exchanging, you're not seeing their chins come up into the air. You're seeing these guys keep their chins down. For uh, for Gravely, we're seeing him kind of pull his head back. For Lancaster, he's keeping his chin tucked down and still able to, to land effectively in the pocket. I, li I like what I'm seeing out of both these guys. And nobody is even given a hint of a takedown yet. I wonder if they have a gentleman's agreement. Let's just keep this standing and have a kickboxing match with four-ounce gloves. Much to the chagrin of the fans. <laughs> Lancaster tried to put the shin upside the head there. No luck with it. But he showed he has the flexibility to get it up there. Really nice evasive work right now from, uh, from Will Gravely. I'm telling you, I really like what I'm seeing out of him right now. And for as much as he's moving, he's not getting tired at all. I mean, yeah. we, we have a good look at his breathing, and he still has his teeth closed on the mouthpiece. You can tell both these guys are very cerebral fighters. They're not wasting energy. They're, everything that they're doing is, is either set up or going for a finish. And cere cerebral coaches in their corners as well. Very much so, yeah. Even if they weren't as intelligent of fighters as they are, all they have to do, not all, but what they have to do is develop the ability to listen to their corners because they're going to get the right advice coming out of the camps that they're in. Okay, and Will Gravely just landed a right hand on Nick Lancaster, and Nick Lancaster, keeping that chin buried down into his chest, did not suffer any type of hard, hard shot, was able to keep the fight going. Right there was the example of exactly what we were just talking about earlier. And seems like Gravely's just trying to get a little bit of a read on Lancaster. I see him looking to set up the counters a little bit more. He's kind of inviting Lancaster in. Ten-second clock has sounded. I think we're going to go to the third and let these guys scrap it out for the championship round in the title fight. About to start off with round number three in this 185-pound title fight. Very evenly matched fight so far, huh? It has been. We talked about it early on in the fight. These guys gained the respect of the other one. They both knew they're fast, technical, and hard hitters. And Let's see if anybody's willing to lay it out there a little bit, see if they can't start to pull ahead. How do you have this one scored, JR? Even. Yeah, I agree. Oh, really nice flurry right there from Will Gravely. 
lands a nice hard right hand to finish the series. And now we'll see what happens with uh, Nick Lancaster. And he's eating that right hand from Will Gravely. And Lancaster kind of feeling his lips a little bit. I think it, that uh, first flurry went right across the lips and mashed into the mouthpiece a little bit. I think he might be spitting a little blood here in a moment. And now Gravely, good job with the counters. I was about to say back to uh, his defensive motions, but willing to plant his feet and fire back hard. And I think we're starting to see a little bit of desperation right now from Nick Nut Lancaster. He's kind of stalking and trying to cut the corner on, uh, on Will Gravely as Will Gravely circles. Oh, and that was a very, very well-thrown head kick. Beautiful vision to see where Gravely was leaning and really nice job of trying to place that kick where he would be. And Gravely gave a big smile because he knows right on the edge of danger there. Where was he? Danger zone. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Corner of Gravely saying you're starting to pull it ahead here. Let's move Lancaster. Comes across the front of the thighs nicely. That is just a brutal kick. Sure is. I think getting whacked in the front of your thigh with, with a, a stick and what kind of Charlie horse that will <laughs> exactly. leave you with. I, I tell you, Gravely's finding some confidence in that right hand. I think he's. I think he knows that he can land it if he steps in. And a beautiful, beautiful hook thrown from Nick Lancaster. And another one. Gravely tries to go to a hook of his own, and Lancaster just got there a little bit faster. And the corner of Gravely saying it's for a title. Trying to get their fighter push it a little bit more. And Gravely willing to plant his feet a little bit yep. here more in the third. Yep. He has a good read on Lancaster, and he respects the power, but he's not afraid of it. And you can see that by the fact that he'll just stop moving his feet and let Lancaster come forward, knowing that he is going to try to time that counter. And I think both these guys are loving these hooks because they're both landing these hooks. And that right hand is just a thing of beauty for Will Gravely. And the corner of Gravely saying they want him to step in now. They want him to start pressuring with his footwork. Move forward. All, all five long, we've seen Gravely circle out. And that time, Lancaster timed it with the kick. Tried to have Gravely step into the kick. About to be the end of the fight here. We're taking it to the judges, Ron. Yeah, that was a great fight.
Thank you guys, man. Congratulations on the bell. Congratulations on an impressive victory.